All right, let's move on. CO2 narcosis. Believe it or not, CO2 is a very good general anesthetic. Here it is right here. And here's cyclopropane. We used to use that. We didn't. I didn't. Georgetown blew up its uh, operating room with cyclopropane in the 60s. <laughs> That's probably the last place that used it. Um, you can see here's nitrous oxide. Okay, so it's kind of between nitrous and cyclopropane. So it's actually stronger than nitrous. And then here's the stuff we, you know, we use. Well, not we don't really use that one, but some of the other fluoral ones. Uh, N-fluorine we use, halothane, um, methoxyfluorine. So these are all the ones that are currently used down here. So you can see carbon dioxide is more powerful than nitrous, kind of getting right into the actual true general anesthetic gases. Pretty amazing. Carbon dioxide is a narcotic gas capable of depressing awareness to the degree of total loss of consciousness. In humans, acute elevation of arterial PCO2 above 70 or 75 reduces the level of awareness. So you start getting goofy as you retain CO2. So a perfect example is someone who is in respiratory failure. That CO2 keeps climbing. All of a sudden they start getting goofy. And then a minute or two later, they just keel right over and are completely unconscious. And I've actually had that happen. And I sent off a blood gas right then and there after we re them, and his uh, CO2 was 105. Okay, so you can see it's uh, get goofy at about this level here, and then CO2 above 100, 120 produces basically unconsciousness. Now the problem is you can't use this as an anesthetic gas because of all the reasons we just talked about. It, it would massively lower pH. It would cause all your potassium to leave the cells and cause respiratory. It would cause cardiac arrest, or it could really would raise your, your potassium levels to toxic levels. Severe elevation of CO2 by inhalation of 30 to 40% CO2 produces surgical anesthesia in both animals and humans. But it's metabolically crazy, so you can't use it. So, CO2 enhanced narcosis, almost as good as ether.